They're all cute with their pudgy little legs and then little dimples instead of knuckles. They have little dimples there because they're all, like fat and shit. <sighs> Hi, I'm Marco Butticelli. Welcome to Using Your Noodle. Today we celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Thus the attire of the normal like Norteño bands and the those bookies and all those cats like that. We're celebrating the Battle of El Pueblo. That was where a whole bunch of Mexican guys fought a whole bunch of French guys and the Mexicans won. Oh, this, this is also an Italian. It was given to me by Nikki Disco. It's an Italian, but it has a Mexican color, so it looks nice. And if you don't like it, I'll grow this mustache out for real. Oh, if you don't like it, I'll get every Mexican chick I know pregnant. Okay, today's ingredients are simple. No, they're kind of not. I got these, everything's from, once again, everything's from the 99 cent store. I got these carnitas, they were like 5.99, whatever they were. They're pretty good. They don't look it right now, but they're gonna be delicious. I got some salsa verde, a buck each. I got these shins, two for a buck. Now, I had these cooked at al dente, so if it's not like, it's gotta be a little hard. Otherwise, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's turning to soggy. So it's, it's barely, barely cooked, because we're gonna cook it again. I got these uh, kick-ass green onions, 99 cents or 99 cents or 99 cents or onions, uh, queso fresco, 99, butter of course, 99. And then, oh, I'm gonna, today we're gonna have a, um, we're gonna have our first side dish to our, our noodle dish. And that'll be our tortillas, our crispy tortillas. That'll be delicious too. Also found this at the 99 cents store. Fascinating, jalapeno lime cilantro seasoning. Now normally you'd use this on avocados or things like that to give it a little zoom. We're using it on a whole dish to give it a little oomph. Now I've never tried this dish before. I've always made it up in my head and I'm going as, I'm tasting as I go along. The queso fresco is gonna be delicious. It's all from 99 cents store, everything you see here. So it's an affordable meal. So if you're buying it for your homies and you're kind of broke, you'll look like a million bucks, but you paid very, very few. Oh, but first, our traditional shot. Today we're having the Tierra Noble uh, tequila. And this is thanks to Johnny Beswick, also known as Johnny B, also known as The Touch. This, this tequila is wicked smooth, so you gotta be careful. You can have like nine shots in before you know it. Which I am. Before you know it, you're pulling a knife on your best friend. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make, kind of start making the sauce, and then we'll throw, since the meat is already pre-cooked, we'll throw the meat into the sauce already. I don't know what this tastes like. So here we go, let's start it up. I'm gonna start up in, our, in a regular pan. I've already cooked our, our noodles al dente. I've had too much to drink, and so I'm trying to keep my shit together. You drink this much alcohol, and then you try to do a show, you'll admire me. You'll admire the hell out of me. Everything distracts you like gnats and shit like that. Let's get this mother on the road. Now I'm in my ghetto. Fire starter. Boom, on the first try. And my Italian friend, Lori, gave me this nonstick blue diamond, whatever it's called. It's great pan, great pan. So far, I've cooked at really high temperatures and it stood withstood the, the battle. It's called a, a blue diamond. That's what it's called. Where am I at? Oh, okay. Uh, oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I keep forgetting what I was gonna do. I'm gonna drop in the, um, the sauce first. Let's set this heat up. That doesn't look like enough. I wanna feed the crew today, man. I have my homie Exert in the house. I have my friggin' homegirl Seven in the house. I have all a pinchy for just three people. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I'm putting two of these in here. I don't ever get nothing, man. No expectation, no let down, dude. Pop, 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 piece of cake. All right, let's get some of these. Oh, check this one out. I don't even know where I got this, but it looks really pretty. Fucking lemonize this motherfucker, man. Oh, yeah. This is gonna get really sweet really fast. One is not enough. Get that out of here. Also, save your lemons uh, when you're done. You can use them to clean out your washing machine. Now we're gonna drop some limes because limes have a different flavor. They taste more like, duh, what you got? Got my lime. Here we go. Okay. Like, doom, 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 doom. Chad was like 90 years old. He's all like in a movie and the girl who loves him is like 21 or something. I'm like, yeah, that would happen. That was a pretty badass cat. Okay, more lime in here. Cause I'm a nicotine addict. Oh, I miss the trash can. Okay, I'm gonna just grab this by hand and pull it apart and drop it in the thing. 
That's not too bad. Normally I would cut this up, but I'm grabbing my hand like a true Mexican, right? You ever see grandma in the fucking kitchen? Cinco de Mayo. Hey, don't forget Cinco de Mayo. I love Cinco de Mayo. And then people are like, you know, like you get all, sometimes you get all these white people dressed up with sombreros and shit like that. And like, I can't believe it's like, that the hot. Fucking do it, dude. Celebrate the culture. If other people can't celebrate your culture because then you're just separating us all. I want every white person who ever watches this to show up at a fucking Cinco de Mayo thing and I want a fucking sombrero on your head and a big fake mustache, dude. I will not be offended if you don't celebrate each other's culture and say, that's, you're stealing our culture. You know, whoever tells you that, look at them and say, hey, Butter Chelly said, eat a dick. No one likes that monkey dick. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying, man. I'm really fucked up. Oh, shit. Of course, it's out of order like our normal thing is. I dropped some onions in there. I should have been simmering with the chili. You can't edit this different, but next time, food for thought, put the chili in first and drop the cilantro in. Who doesn't like cilantro? Boom. And the butter. Who forgets their butter? Butter chili does. I'm going to stir this up. Let me wash my hands for a second. That's so not washed. And where's my stir thing? 99 cents for shit. Man, your homie's losing it. I'm your pal, man. I'm your pal from way back, dude. And I'm losing my shit a little bit. Hit the like button. And when you hit the like button, it'll give me power to keep moving on. Okay, this smells fucking delicious, dude. I won't even lie, dude. Wow, that's nice. Okay, you could just eat this like this, but don't. I had a pal like that, dude, and I love him. But his name was Steve. And he'd be all like, I just had a little bit, bro. Kindness is important. And here's another thing, too, while we're on the topic, motherfuckers. <laughs> Kindness is important. All right. This is coming out pretty good. I won't even lie, dude. The crew eats. We eat, Everything we make, the crew eats afterwards. And we just, we just hit it like it owes us money, man. Oh, I forgot. I have double dish, double portions today. Uh, today we're using this, um, also the 99 cents, I probably shared it already, but it's um, jalapeno lime cilantro seasoning. And it's, it's gonna put shit over the top. We may regret having this much in it, but you know what? That's what life's about. Really inebriated right now. Look at that, look at this. It is unreal. It's almost like a goulash. It's like a Mexican goulash. I'll call it a goulash. My Spanish is really bad. A lot of my language is pretty bad. I'm gonna taste this real quick. This is one of the best dishes I've made. Okay, this is the first portion of the dish. It should be good to go. Don't let the noodles get soggy. If they get soggy, they'll turn into like nasty ass bread stuck on there, like wet bread. Who wants wet bread? Mm, noodles are fucking perfect. We're gonna plate it and we're gonna drop some cotija con cheese. Butter chili at his drunkest does not fail you. Kill the flame. And I'm gonna try to figure out how to get this on the plate before it's too late. Ah. It's gonna take two plates to cover this bad boy. Shit. Oh, a tortilla. Okay, here's what I'm doing. I got the heat on high. I'm gonna, <laughs> I hope I don't fuck this up because I really like this part. I'll drop a slab of butter in there. What did I call this dish again? Oh, um, no me chingues. Okay, you get the thing full of butter. The butter starts, the butter starts to burn a little, starts getting, ah. Then you get your tortilla, only one side. You drop it on there and you put that thing on a high ass heat. Cause you wanna want that one side crispy and one side not crispy at all. I'll make two of these. One is gonna be just all just the butter alone, and then the other, maybe butter and a little bit of salt. Um, the second one will be the butter and a little bit of huckleberry honey. You can't get that at the 99, but you could use regular honey, but use a tiny, tiny bit. It has to just be a nitzel. Is that sweet? It can't be like, oh, cause honey will dominate a meal. They're using, this is really good honey. It's huckleberry honey I got in Idaho from a place called the Huckleberry Thicket. And they just serve like, you get everything, you get like so huckleberry soda, huckleberry suppositories. Now your tortilla starts to puff up like this, that means the other side's starting to get pretty crispy. And now normally, you put this thing down on a plate or on a paper towel and you cut it like a pizza slicer. 
If anyone says anything I say is racial, shut the fuck up, dude. Ethiopian food's a motherfucker, man. You will not regret that. Anyway, there it is. Boom, crispy tortilla. Boom, crispy tortilla one. The spawning. Part two is, damn, that thing's really going, huh? Crispy tortilla two. This one's gonna be our huckleberry tortilla. You can also do this with a bagel. Butter burns quick. It's not like olive oil or it's not like coconut oil that can take a licking and keep on ticking. One side's hard, one side's soft as nothing. You can bend it, so you can fold it. And you, when you, if you're gonna fold it around something, fold it with the crunchy side in. It makes it more like, mmm, there's a bite or some of crispiness to this thing. It's fucking delicious. So you get your honey. <clears throat> Look how little I use, honestly. I'm using a, a sharp knife. You stir it's cream honey, but if you have regular honey, it's fine too. Look at very little, look how little that is. It's just on the tip of the knife. Just a little bit on the tip of the knife and just spread it around. You don't need a whole bunch. It will dominate the thing and you lose your buttery flavor. You lose your buttery flavor, you fucked your dish. Okay. Oh shit, that one's still burning. And this one's gonna go up here. Ouch, 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 ouch. Son of a bitch, ouch. Boom, no mechingas with a crispy tort on the side, bam. Thank you for celebrating Cinco de Mayo with me. Thank you for celebrating Cinco de Mayo, period. This is using your noodle and reminding you, if it smells good, eat it. Mmm. A number one right now. A number one in my life. Using your noodle, scene five, take two. Excellent.